Let's go. Stay close to me. I know who you are. And I know you're a killer. The world has ended out there. Who cares who I am? What should we do now? Run! You get sick and you die and, and you come back and you kill anything you can find! Okay, what's up everybody? This is the Game Virus, also known as the G, -G, 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 -G Virus, and we are back at it again with more. Let's play Telltale's The Walking Dead Season 1. In the last episode, we accomplished a lot. Firstly, we had to reinsure our new companion, uh, the little girl that we are being the guardian for, Clementine, that everything was okay and Lee was not a bad man, because Clementine overheard Carly talking about something Lee might have done in the past, someone Lee might have hurt. And Clementine was quite upset and worried that the person protecting her and watching over her was actually a bad guy. So we had to reassure her that we were not bad. And we're not. We're not. It was a crime of passion. Then we went out front with Doug and we tried to figure out a way to get the keys off of Lee's now dead brother. Of course, Lee didn't mention or tell that that was his brother because he doesn't want them to get hip to the fact that he is a uh, convicted murderer. Because if they link the fact that the family here was the family who had a son who got convicted of murder and got life sentence in prison, you know, things could get dicey and they might not want him to roll around with them anymore. So he's kind of keeping his ties to the, uh, to the drug store that the rest of the crew, the rest of the party is held up in under wraps. But we tried to figure out a way to get the keys off his zombified brother and realized that we couldn't do it quite yet. We had to go over here and uh, save and rescue Glenn first. And uh, boy, oh boy, did we have fun doing that. We had to figure out ways to get around these zombies. We snuck around and used stealth. We used stealth in a way that Solid Snake and Ricky Maru from the Tenchu series would have been very proud of us. Because we really were this close to getting caught a few times. But we were able to successfully get around them and kill a few of them with a screwdriver, no less. Screwdrivers to the eye socket. Lee was gouging out zombie eyeballs left and right. It was a thing of beauty. But now, we acquired an axe. And all this pretty much is uh, to rescue a woman who is who is barricaded inside one of these hotel rooms. And uh, Glenn and Lee want to save really bad. Carly, one shot Carly, does not give zero fucks about this damn woman. But hey, we're guys, so we know what could potentially happen if we save this woman. She might want to thank us. Come on, come get some. Come get some. <laughs> Might not be a screwdriver, but it's just as deadly, if not more. Ah, Good lord! Ugh. That's what I'm talking about. As much as gouging out zombie eyeballs with screwdrivers is fun, that was much funner. Hello in there. We're here to help. Please just go away. Let's go, guys. I don't think she's. Minute. I don't think she's gonna give us if any if we save up, her, Glenn. We can take you somewhere safer. We've got a group in town. No, no, no. Please. She's in trouble. No. Miss, we're coming in. Listen, Glenn. Whatever happens, we have to be as nice and polite as possible. And then once she calms down, we can tell her, hey, we saved her life. And maybe she might want to give us a little bit of a thank you. You know, show some gratitude. Nothing, nothing too serious. Maybe a reach around. Just something to relieve the stress. Because I know that's what you're thinking, Glenn. And that's definitely what I'm thinking. Carly... She's not even on the camera. Carly wants us to not even bother, because, you know, you know, she doesn't understand. What could potentially you go down there? through that board first. Yeah, I just, I just did it because I wanted to see him kick it. Let's see all of our options play out. Out. It's about time. Let's have a good look at you. Maybe we won't even want you to return the favor. I don't know. Not, not bad. Oh, God. I, I said stay away. We need to get you help. It's too late for that. Oh, well, you're Guys, damn right. She's been bitten. Never mind about I that reach around. I said go away. I'm bit. But you wouldn't just leave. Well, Calm then again, down. she hasn't turned You'll quite yet. I won't be fine. My boyfriend was bitten. You get sick and you die and, and you come back and you kill anything you can find. You have a boyfriend? Glenn. See? I, I knew it. I told you that's what it's he was thinking. 
Wait, you guys just thought I was being pervy. Nope. Well, we need some sexual healing out here, you know? Come with us. We'll find you some help. Things are rough. Need some stress relievers. You have a gun. So? Can I borrow it? What do you mean, borrow? Give it to me. I can just, you know, end this, and then, and then there's no problem. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Please. I don't want to be one of them. They're, they're satanic. Can't have that. No we way. We can't let you do that to yourself. Then Your do it for me. We need to get going. Your head's too pretty for that. Give it to me, please. We don't want to blow crazy. it off. Please, step back. It's just two seconds, just one bullet, and I can be with my family, and it'll all be fine. Yes. Back up, please. Hold on, man. You're, you're wrestling with one-shot Carly right there. She'll put a bullet in your head real quick if you fuck with her. And it'll be right in the dead center between the eyes, right above the nose bone. Keep fucking around. Check the past episodes. Whoa, She's good easy. for that. I just want to help. You can't. Miss, just relax now. You need to think this through. We'll find you a doctor. It'll be okay. Let's all just... No, no! No! Oh, man. Glenn's very disappointed now. So is Lee. She looked like she had soft hands. She probably would have gave some fantastic candies. <laughs> Glenn's like, no, I just gotta jack off. Oh, well. Let's get out of here. You know, Glenn's like, Lily's too tough for me. Shit. And Carly's Here got her go. eyes on two other guys, so that was his only shot. Get in! It was, it was like there was a zombie walking around without a head over there. That's impossible. I could have swore I saw right? that. It's yeah, just one bullet. Some close calls, but Glenn is fine. And That's what Carly okay. always says. We're okay. I've got a few cans of gas for your pickup in the trunk of my car. Good to hear it. And things back here? Quiet. Our friend is still in and out over there. He won't survive any more stress. The next order of business is getting those pills out of the pharmacy. Most definitely, you know. Uh, we need to find... We still need to find a battery. I gave Carly one. I gave iCarly just one battery. We need to give her another one. So she can get that radio going. I don't know, I don't remember what happens when we get that radio going. But that was some intense stuff right there. Central High Tech State. Papers a week old. Feels like years. Um, let, let me check on my, my child. My adopted child, basically. See how she's doing. How's your finger, Clem? Good. It doesn't hurt so much anymore. Good. See, I'd, I'd be a good dad, even though I hate children, you know. I'd... I, I know how to do things. I, I know what needs to be done and said and how to console a kid and treat a kid. It's just they bug the shit out of me. What do you want me to do? It's who I am. I know I'm not your dad, but if you need anything, I'm your guy, okay? Okay. Same. You're my guy? Oh, I was about to say no. that. You know. We're gonna try to take care of each other. Yes. Deal. Let me know if you need anything. Okay. That's right, I checked on Clementine. I'm a good guardian. Let's let's talk to this guy. I know you're salty about that girl. I'm salty, too. We could have had some fun with her. You know, maybe a menage, something. She had time left. It's not like she was a zombie already. She was still soft and supple. We could, we could have had some fun. How you doing, Glenn? You know. Disappointed. I could have got some ass back there when she blew her head off. Fuck. Do you know the combination for the lock on the gate outside? Why? Oh, you know, I thought I'd go stretch my legs. You're probably better off breaking it if you have to. Hmm. Use that axe. What's your next move? I don't know. I mean, you guys seem okay. What about your family? Yeah, I... I... Forget it, man. That's your business. I hate feeling like I can't do anything. I know the feeling, man. No more. We're gonna do plenty. We're gonna be just fine. Back to the motor in. How can it be that bad so fast? You know, when things are taken away, people do crazy shit. 
I guess. That's not me. I'm not giving up. Not for anything. Good, man. Good. I guess you really wanted that gun. Seems like. Why didn't you tell Carly to just give it to her? <laughs> Glenn's like, I wish she wanted my penis. People can't be given up. This will pass. Mm -hmm. I'm with you. Well said. Glad to hear it. Try to get some rest. <laughs> yeah, right. You're not gonna be able to rest for long, man. Shit's about to hit the fan as soon as I find a battery, and as soon as I go for the fucking... Oh, wait a minute, no. Oh, here we go! There goes the second battery. Alright, let's see what happens when we get this radio that Carly... That I, Carly, has been messing with. Let's see if we can see what happens. I don't even remember. Looks like nobody got a chance to donate anything before this all went down. I don't think I checked that ever. Here you go, Miss Carly. I got something for you, baby. Should be able to get it to work now. Yep, tying up all the loose ends now. It's still not working? Yeah, I can't figure it out. Let me oh. have a look at that thing. Oh, Go you ahead. silly woman. Let me show you how to do this. So we already checked. Look, well, just for shits and giggles. Volume, clearly not working. That's, you know, you gotta be thorough. Maybe she forgot to push the power button, you know, it's possible. <laughs> Let's see what we got. The batteries are wrong. That, that that is a rookie mistake. That is something that is something a five year old would do. Come on, come on now. I expect that from Clementine, not you, Carly. You're so good with that gun, yet you can't handle it. Old school radio. And ta da, we have life. You fixed it. Continues to spread unchecked. The estimated death toll continues to skyrocket. So that's pretty much it. I'm thinking we didn't even have to bother with that radio. But now we got a little bit of a backdrop. The station is okay. In the event of a full... Uh, my, my producer's telling me we have to get off the air. Steve. Uh, WABE wishes you and your loved one. God bless you all. No, that's it. I thought I was just going to keep playing, but nope, that shit's done. I wonder what she has to say. Nothing she has to Oh yeah, she has something to say. Hey there. Nope, not really. She doesn't have anything to say about the radio. Story of the century here, huh? Yeah, and I've got shit for recording equipment. And from the looks of it, there isn't going to be any shortage of first-hand accounts. You do radio? That's right. Well, until some piece of shit politicians yank our funding, and I hit the blogosphere. That radio sign-off didn't sound too good. Are you okay? I'm fine. There we go. Discussion about the hand radio. Really? Everyone's dead. You don't have to be. It's traumatic. I'm sure some people got out. Maybe they're all being rescued. Then again, maybe not. There you go. Carly noticed your concern. Yeah, you know, I care. I'm a good guy. How we doing? Good. Wanna go have a look around outside? Not quite yet. Let me go talk to... Not now. Let me go talk all to right. Lily. Real quick, see what she has to say. Oop, oop, oop. Getting caught on shit, and then we'll head outside, and that should initiate the vents to the end of this chapter. Hey. Chapter one. I'm gonna get back to him. So he, she has nothing to say to me. She, yep, she doesn't want to talk to me at all. Don't talk to me. I'm tending to my asshole father. How are we doing? If you don't mind, I think my family and I are gonna rest for a bit. Let me know if that asshole over there takes a turn for the worse. You got it. Yep, no one wants to talk. We're basically... This is this is basically it. We've wrapped this up, basically. It's time for us to get going. And to do that, we gotta go out here with good old Doug. Doug Funny. Doing? Good. Wanna go have a look around outside? Good old Douglas Yancey Funny. Let's go outside. Let's have a look around. Okay. I mean, he's got the green shirt on. It's close to a green sweater vest, wouldn't you say? All right, let's not let's not beat around the bush. I know exactly what to do. Take this axe to this lock. <sighs> awesome. I grab this brick. Gotta distract those things. Uh, if Careful. I get this brick, we can distract them just fine. Don't you worry about it, Can't Douglas. Reach that brick. Open this, and we can reach that brick. Hopefully, you guys can throw well. Hit your mark. 
This looks very risky. We already know. All right, Lee, I hope you played baseball when you were in school, middle school or high school or something. Hope you got a good arm because you're going to need it right here. Show your athleticism. I know you're 37, but come on. That's my guy. Look at the arm right in the center. Man of the year right here. I bet you there's kids out there who, who've never seen a static screen like that. Probably don't even know why the TV's looking like that right now, but yeah. TVs. Tube TVs from back in the day. Non-flat TVs used to go like that when they were static. Excuse me while I silence my phone! Because I'm a jackass and I forget to do it. <sighs> Fucking terrible. Come on. Come on, G-Virus. What are you doing? This is serious business here, man. You gotta be professional. Turn off your fucking phone. Alright. Time to see if he has the keys. He? You mean your brother? Be careful. That you're, that you're keeping a secret. Out, will you? That you're keeping a secret about. This is gonna be an emotional moment, guys. Hold on to something. Get your tissues ready. Having a heart to heart with my brother who's now a zombie, you ass. I'm sorry, man. I'm sorry I wasn't here. But no he's you to take care of him That helps. Your brother is desperately trying to eat your butt right now. Desperately. And we can only say one thing. Yep, and of course these sick fucks over at Telltale make you do the deed yourself. Make you line it up real nice and... Like you're doing the chopping. They're good for that. And of course nothing can be simple. Can't be- can't just be one hit. We gotta prolong it out and make it as gruesome as possible, you know? No, he's still not dead, huh? Jeez, great. Let's go. Let's give him 40 wax. 40 wax, took an axe. <clears throat> and then when we and then once we saw what we done, we gave him 41. <clears throat> Split his temple wide open, man. Looks like a hot dog bun. Looks like a vagina on his head. God. It gives a new definition to being your brother's keeper. Hey bud. There we go. Great. Totally screwed things up. Well, the only thing I could do is break the lock, so we can't lock the gate back. So, it looks like we're gonna have to ditch this drugstore soon. Because the pressure is on. Enemy at the gates. Did it. It's all that matters. I've got the keys. Great. God, you're amazing. Let's get in there. Let's do it, Lily. Listen, Lily, now that we're alone, I just want to tell you, I find you're, uh... I like tough women. Women that can exert themselves in certain situations, even intimate ones, and, um... Once this all blows over, maybe, I don't know, you can go get a bite to eat, or some Starbucks. You look like you like Starbucks. Get you some Starbucks, or some Juice It Up, anything you want. Maybe you have a nice little conversation about, you know, about stuff. You know... I'm a good listener. But alright guys, let's see what we got here. Actually, we need to cut this video. It's a good, probably a good spot to cut it. 
because there's going to be just enough material for us to finish out the next episode, for the next episode to be a, a full-length episode, I believe, because we are dangerously close to the end of this glorious chapter. It'll be, I believe, six puff seven parts for this chapter so maybe that'll be the average for each chapter will be seven seven parts but if you like the video go ahead and like it if you want more go ahead and subscribe and i'll see you guys on the next exciting episode of let's play telltales the walking dead season one with yours truly the game virus i thank you for watching and i hope to see you on the next video and please watch other playthroughs of other survival horror titles that are definitely on my channel waiting for your eyeballs to view them thanks for watching later